Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. You know, it seems like everywhere I have been today, uh, people have made statements or either they wanted my opinion concerning the protests over this past weekend with the NFL. And um, I, I tell you, uh, and the two areas that I've got to speak in, um, the people actually really, truly heard, probably for the first time, what the real issues were. Um, I have not heard one football player in the NFL, neither have I heard, I said me, me, me heard, neither have I heard anybody um, disrespecting the flag or this country. Now, what is in question is the national anthem, which many of you don't even want to uh, even entertain or even listen to. Now, that is in question. Where's that quote again? Man, I wish I could find it. I probably don't have it up here. Well, I had that quote the other day. Now, I'm going to get that thing and I'm going to put it on my front page. And I'm going to get it in my spirit so I can be able to quote it verbatim so people will be able to understand why people are upset with the national anthem. Um, I had an opportunity today to tell people that the problem that we have in this country right here is that people just simply don't want to listen. They don't, they're totally intolerant, excuse me, of other people's perspectives and point of views. And of course, what definition does that fit according to Merriam-Webster? Bigot. That means you're a bigot. Now think about this for a second. I want to talk to us about something here for a second. And believe me, I'm a man of common sense, even though it's uncommon here in America. I love dialogue, intelligent dialogue, just like I said today. I said, you know, I love having vigorous debate, intelligently and civilly. I love having dialogue because I'm the type of person that if I hear something that I've never even considered, and it makes sense to me, and then you give me the opportunity to go and look it up and investigate it, I'll change my mind and opinion real quick as long as it is the truth. Let me give you an example. Let, 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 let me use this as a... Um, a situation, okay? Let, let, let's let's use the word or the phrase level playing field. Level playing field. Okay. Now, I'm going to use two subjects. I can pick any subjects. I'm going to use two. Um, the first one is going to be athletes. The second one, uh, women. Okay. That, that seems to be sensitive today. Let's just go ahead and go with those two. Okay. Level playing field. All right, listen to me. Level, level playing field. In this country, we had major league sports. We had we had a National Football League, which at the time was um, I'm not gonna get into all. Let's just call it NFL. We had Major League Baseball, um, and we had basketball. And at each one of those levels, there used to be a time in this country where there was not a level playing field in professional sports. Jackie Robinson, Hank Aaron, all of them, or people who broke the ice and had to fight against racism in this country. And the, I think the problem today is, uh, and the visceral attitude today is that people try to act like that there's no such thing as racism that is still going on in this country when it's not being said, and certain words have come with a negative stigma while it's being experienced. So you may not say it. But actions, actions and non-actions tell you the real true experience of these people. All right? So, again, when Jackie Robinson, Hank Aaron, and all of them broke into baseball, it was not a good time for black people in this country. Can we agree with that? Watch this. I'm using athletes and women to show you an example of what I am saying about a level playing field. Only whites could play professional sports at this time. But, however, once blacks were allowed to play professional sports, and the field, the field, the playing field is level. You hear that? And the playing field is level all the way across the board. Look what happens. All right? By and large, be it baseball, football, basketball, the three major sports in this country. They are all, in fact, dominated by black people in this country. 
dominated totally. All right. How did that happen? Because there was a time that we didn't have the opportunity to play on the same field and make the field level. Now the field is level. Look at the NFL. 75% of the people that play football in the NFL are what ethnic background? They're black. Why? Because the field is what? Level. When it wasn't level, it was 100% whites, zero blacks. See what I mean? So by and large, when you level the playing field and you make it so that everybody has a chance, then the truth actually comes out. Let me give you another example. You're not going to see women playing in the NFL because they don't have the testosterone, the makeup, the build. It's a brutal sport. Football is a brutal sport. You know what I think is more brutal than the NFL? When we used to play backyard football, that was brutal. Watch this. Watch this. And I don't think that women should be in there, get beat up by men like that, and you probably will never see it. All right? However, however, there are some women out there, mindset-wise, brain-wise, that they are a hell of a lot smarter than men. Yet and still, in this country, the field, the playing field, is not level. Did you hear what I said? I said the playing field is not level. Think about that for a second. Because there are women CEOs, there are women who have jobs in this country of position and title and placing that they do not by and large get paid the same pay as males. I call that discrimination. And I think that is totally unfair. Because when it comes to brain power, you got enough sense to admit this woman is smarter and more capable in this area to do the job better than I. Better than you. Better than you. you, you you've got to admit that. You literally have got to admit that. Alright? But, no. We're, we're, we have a lot of coming up to do in this country, in society, in order to make the playing field level. Even from a perspective and point of view, for women in positions on jobs and women, so that when they work, they get equal pay as well. Now, you may, I, I don't know what a lot of you people are saying, but the truth is, the discrimination even in that exists. Uh, but again, what happens when you make a level playing field? Well, the competition gets better, don't it? And what do a lot of people don't want in this country? Healthy competition. And who said this? I think it was Greg Popovich. Pop said it. Uh, that's the head coach of the San Antonio Spurs. He said he talked about white privilege. He says basically, and I'm paraphrasing. He says, "Man, if you if I'm running a race and I start off on the 80 meter yard line or the 50 meter yard line, I've already got a head start. And by and large, whites we have had that head start in this country, and the playing field is not level. Now, is that the truth or not? Yes or no? And what is so painful about acknowledging that?" Changing your perspective and point of view to suit what is truth. Uh, what is that? Are you going to get mad at Pop because he's a white man telling you the truth that is uncomfortable for people to hear? That's the only thing I'm bringing up and I'm saying. Um, you know, I, anyway, I, um, I can go on with this all day long. I think this is something good for us all to talk about. Uh, I did have somebody ask me uh, what I think about racism. And, of course, I, I told him, I said, I think it's stupid as hell. I think it's stupid. It's nonsensical. It just simply don't make no sense to me because when I read the Bible, and I know I'm going to piss a lot of you people off out there, but when I read the Bible, I don't see all this racism and this discrimination that many of you are promoting on both sides, black and white. I mean, many of you say that black lives matter. I say all lives matter. That's what I say. Um, now, does that mean that, that I'm not sensitive towards my people's perspective and point of view? No, it doesn't. I'm sensitive toward the truth. But when you're wrong, you're just wrong. And I'm telling you, and you're not going to get me to side with you when you are wrong. You can forget it. So I hope that I've said something to stimulate thought. And I hope I've said something that will at least put a defibrillator on our mind 
to get us to think because once the playing field is level and myself personally, I think that's what the system don't want is they don't want people to have the same opportunity because look what happened in the NFL once the playing field got level and everybody had the same opportunity. Now, not only do you have black 70%, 75% of the NFL black, now you got a lot of coaches in the NFL that's black. And the playing field is what? It's getting more and more level. Now what we need to do, if we're going to complete this mission all the way across the board, is get the ownership in the NFL at a 50-50 or level of playing field. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that the playing field should be level based on ethnic background, racial creed, color of skin. I think that the left playing field should be level based upon knowledge, experience, and professionalism. Can you do the job? I don't think color should pay a bit in it. Shouldn't play any perspective point. Put the best man forward for the job. That's who you want on the field. That's who you want in ownership. That's who you want coaching. And that is the truth. And that's the true straight way.